don't talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Mr. Jamaica. Well, go on, you know, Madel. Man, hey, man, check it, man. Hey, man, we in here today, man. I got a special guest, guys, man. You got to understand, man. Um, this is my homegirl. Me and my homegirl talk. I don't play about this one. At the end of the day, a lot of times, you know, uh, this I know this ain't easy for her to do because she usually don't even come to the forefront. But she had to do it today, man. LD is in the building. What's going on? Hey. Hi, guys. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Up and down. Up and down, you know. <laughs> now, and, and I know, you know, just so people understand what's really going down, you know, uh, my boy Strap, BFG Strap, uh, they had a ceremony today, right? They did. And, we did. <laughs> and at the end of the day, it was it was a private health ceremony. It was. Um, you know, um, when you know the thing that 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 gets me the most is, you know, he was gone. He gone too soon. You know, he only twenty two. Definitely. Um, I lost water too live. He was twenty one, uh, sitting in the same seat, and it messed with me because I only been doing this a year and some. Right. And and God putting this in my in my life for something, you know. But the one thing I knew when I met the young man was he was in good 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 company with you. Yes. Because of the way that you, I knew he had you there as a buffer. Mm -hmm. Somebody who you know who 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 thought, thought reason. You know what I'm saying? Who yes. was more seasoned to understand different situations that he was dealing with. Yes. And we dealt on a lot of different things. Me and you, after we met, we became friends. We did. And I, you know, and me and him became friends. Like I said, I hit him up about maybe three months ago, mm -hmm. just checking on him like I do. And uh, when I first heard about it, you know, I called you so in real time when it was going yes. on, uh, because because I love y'all. You know, um, once I once I uh, link in with with people that God put in my life, because I've been through so much already, I know this my ministry to be sitting here talking to y'all. Right. So every time, even the clip that I put up, every time the biggest thing that God showed me is did I get to talk to him or say anything about God? Mm. And that's why you seen the clip I put back up about us talking about God. You know about me. You, you seen the clip. I gotta go back and you probably see didn't. the clip that you put up. Yeah, I just put it up in remembrance. I haven't really been on social media like After that, that, outside of my outside of what you was. What, yeah, because yeah. you know I know it's a lot of it's a lot out there. Yeah, that's a lot of untrue. Yeah, yeah. You know, unfactual things out there. So I've Man. been trying to stay away from that and stay focused on everything at hand. You know, and and to to be you know, dealing with these young people, you know, you know already how it is when you're young. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's a different world than where, where I'm at now. But I was young once. I was in the streets once. So at the end of the day, I always show love and respect to the young folks because I never forget where I came from. That's right. So I don't understand sometimes when older people or say things to them or talk down on them or you know, this internet thing is something else. Soon as it happened, certain people jump up and start speaking in the wrong manner. All this different stuff, chaos, because the devil is busy. Yes. <laughs> if it was not, it, what do you think, babe? Yeah, you're right, because people, people because they don't know the facts, they're gonna guess and spell. Um, yeah. They don't know who to call to find out what's going on, and whoever they could call might not even tell them anyway. So mm -hmm. because of that fact, they're gonna say whatever whether because they're trying to get clout they're trying to yes. get sound bites they're trying to get you know i was going to say that some are right. looking for facts exactly some are looking for clout exactly because you know. even when something happens it's like people in today's society pull out their phone and start videoing because they want to be the first one to have it up on social media because whether somebody might buy the footage or it's just a money making venture. Mm -hmm. People are not thinking about the welfare of that person. And what saddens me about a lot of this, you know, because like if somebody passed away, mm -hmm. normally the news doesn't even put it out until they contact the family. Right. Social media does not do that. They mm -hmm. quickly hurry up, take it up, put it up. A lot of people find out about death on social media quicker mm -hmm. than the police even coming to them or anybody even giving them a call. And that's sad. Yeah. 
because that's a terrible way to find out about it. And, you know, and I'm so sorry about what happened to him and what you're going through and what the family is going through. But, you know, I'm happy that you're here to speak on it because there's so many people who go through this on a daily basis. This is not just a one case scenario. Right. This happens all the time. And a lot of times people back then didn't talk. They didn't have a voice. They didn't have a platform to come to to speak mm -hmm. on it. And a lot of people hurt in silence. A lot of people go through depression. A lot of people commit suicide. I mean, do crazy things to damage their future. Yes. You know what I mean? Instead of healing. And a lot of times we don't take advice from people face to face because nobody likes to be told what to do. Right. So being that it's on YouTube, on any all these different platforms that you can find us on, mm -hmm. people can watch it in the privacy of their own home and learn from you. Learn from anybody who come on this platform who's giving advice, who's really trying to reach out to help other people because they've been through things. And I really real I really believe I'm not that old but Going through different situations, you realize that, you know, first thing people always say, why me? Why him? Why this? Why that? And I really believe that we go through things to help other people because other people are going to go through it in the future, maybe even the same exact thing. And because you overcome it down the line, mm -hmm. you're able to comfort somebody who is going, who is about to go through it as mm -hmm. well. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And whereas anybody passing away, this is how I look on death. I always say, when you lose somebody, treasure the memories that they gave you because that's one thing God is not going to take from you is the memories. Enjoy those. I mean, why do anything else? That's the one thing they can't take away from you because even somebody who has Alzheimer's, do you realize that as a per older people get Alzheimer's, they can remember everything in the past when they were younger. <laughs> so yeah. God don't take away those memories. Right. You know what I mean? So I look at that because when I lost my dad, I, look, I changed a lot of things that I did and try to build memories. Because, yes, you can go out here and work, work, work and supply for your kids and supply for other people and give them money and all of that. But if you're not building memories, when you're gone, the only thing they can say, oh, they gave me money. You, you're not going to hear, well, they instilled this value into me. They went fishing with me. They took me here. They taught me how to do this. Those are memories. Those are things that nobody can take away from you. You know, okay. and it helps you to make you a better person. Mm -hmm. So you always want to do things to keep that person's memory alive to say that this is what he did for us. Mm -hmm. You know, well, let me ask you something, LD. What was the the last thing that the, the last time you spoke to Stroud? <laughs> the last time I spoke to him was the night before. Well, it was really the morning of. He was up late, you know, most of that night playing the game and. We just had this thing about um, his game. Um, and so he got locked out of his game and he couldn't use his card. So he used my card. And, you know, I was like, why does this thing keep charging or whatever? <laughs> so we kind of went back and forth about that. And he was like, well, I took. I took yours off and put mine back on or whatever. And, um, you know, I was like, no, you didn't because it's still charging or whatever. And he was like, I don't know why that thing keep doing that. Um, so that's kind of the back story. So yeah. when he called me, he called me and said, well, you got another card that we could just use for it because it's not accepting mine or whatever it was. Because um, I think once you do certain things, it'll lock that, that card out or something. I don't know, but that was the last time I like spoke to him, but we shot a video that night. So oh. that was like a few hours. That conversation was a few hours after the video shoot. What was the video video for what song? Strizzy New York. Okay, Strizzy New York. And I know they'll they'll be dealing with his projects, but or you'll be dealing with his projects, but um, just, you know, what were some of the things uh, that he aspired to uh, to do while he was dealing with his music that people might not know? Well, um, we were, as far as music, because we were working on some things outside of music as well. Okay, I, I like um, your Go ahead and well. yeah, elaborate yeah, on that so too. So we were in the process of getting ready to get into real estate. Okay. A lot of people probably wouldn't know that. Right. Mm. Um, Strap just really wanted to 
make it for his people. And I say his people because not just family, but his friends. Um, more so than, than he, because, you know, he just, he was like a, a big light, big energy that just couldn't be denied. Um, so he couldn't help that, you know, to walk in a room and just, you know, it wasn't that he was being cocky. He just had big energy. He was really humble. Very humble. And he, um, his biggest thing was making it for his people. Wow. I you know, know, most of all. Me and him, like I said, when he when he when you first brought him over here, I was telling you how how, how much I loved his music mm -hmm. and how much you know I would think about little babies and different people that I felt like his music was just if he the more he put it out, the better it would be for him. For me, it's like this got to keep putting it out because I knew he had something. You know, uh, shout out to uh, uh, Dallas Global. They he uh, Terry say that he was his favorite artist. You know, yeah. And and you know we talked about it. Me and Terry have this thing, man. I don't know, even when Wardy had passed away, me and mm -hmm. Terry talking, like it's when you were in the middle of this this world that we live in, um, it, you, you, you tend to, you under, you, 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 you gravitate to certain individuals. Yeah. And and Strap was one of those type of people. You know I what I mean? Terry. Yeah, yeah. He came to one of our video shoots. Yeah, he um, said he was a big fan. Yeah, um, met him and he's a, he's a good guy from what I can tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, when when you think about like like you know that God is using you, have used you uh to be a part of his life. Mm -hmm. You know, to 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 shed light in dark situations where he might have been in a dark situation before now. And mm -hmm. y'all was here and y'all was there and y'all was working and doing things that made sense, you know, for his for his career mm -hmm. or just for him far as growing up as a young man you know what i mean yeah. so so you you were in, as i told you this when i talked to you the first when this was going on you know god is using you to help the young people around you yeah you know and no I matter what bad you know stuff that. may be happening around <laughs> you no matter how many things may seem to be crazy around you that don't matter right what happens is you have to show people by walking it in front of mm -hmm. them how how life's supposed to be. We've been married for 20 years, you know. Uh, when I talk to one of the young men, whether whoever it may be, they know what I'm about now. They know where I came from. They know where I'm at now. They can respect me more now. But not when I'm talking crazy to them or trying to preach to them. Nobody want to hear that. Yeah. You know, they want to see the result, see what you're going to do. Yeah. And that's the best teacher in the world. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So that's what I aspire to do for the youngsters, and I see that in you. Yeah. You know when, what I mean? When God puts you in position... There's nothing you can do about it. That's right. At all. Um, so, I actually, and I, you know, I shared this, which Strap and I know, because we talked about it, but I, I've shared this recently. I actually saw him before I started managing him. Okay. And just didn't know he was going to be my artist. Wow. Yeah. Um, a few months before, maybe about uh, six months before and how long have you been managing him for two and a half years two and a half years two and a half yeah years. going on it was going on two and a half mm -hmm. years yeah. that's long in the yeah. management world yeah um so it was just kind of crazy because i got introduced to him by a mutual friend of ours was busy telling him about me and telling me about him and we both, we, we laughed about it because we were both kind of doing the same thing. Like, um, you know, okay, cool. I don't know about that. You know, we'll see. Um, and it's, it was funny when we talked about it because not knowing he was over there doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I just know. And the things that he shared with me, because it was more than just business. I became like a confidant, friend, mm -hmm. manager, second mom, all of that. Um, the things that he shared, I just know that the reasons why mm -hmm. God put me in place. Wow. And even though it hurts, knowing that I filled that void as much as God allowed right. before he passed. Um, right. 
Yeah, that's that's real, man. Yeah. You know, I just I, like I said, I, I I know that when when this thing was going on, you heard all kind of crazy stories coming out. Uh, this guy, you know, he he was the one on the ground. I heard all kind of stuff. I'm being real with you. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is what they were saying. You would see it. They were showing this picture all over, saying it was him. Mm -hmm. All kind of stuff. What do you do, or how do you handle that mentally? when something like that's going on and people are doing this. Because this internet world is different now. It ain't it like is. it used to be. When I was young, you didn't have these resources to do all that. There's conflicting stories. Then there's people jumping on there, uh, uh, campaigning mm -hmm. uh, about about the situation in a way that it, as if they're involved. All mm -hmm. kind of stuff is going on. And it's not just with Stroud, but everybody's doing this. This is a trend that young people are doing. Where do you, mentally do you, you know, fall when something like that's happening? Because I hadn't had to experience it. Well, of course, I'm human. So, you know, the first thought was, the oh, anger. God, why, you know, right. what, you know, what, you know, I'm looking at, because in the beginning I was before I removed myself from social media. So I'm like, what? Right. Like, that's crazy. Like, how do y'all come up with some of the stuff? Now, you know, the picture thing, that's one thing, but the stories, you know, um, and at first, I, I just heard about it. I didn't see the picture. So I was like, oh, my God, they got this picture, you know. You thought but it was. I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. But you heard about it. I heard. Okay. And so my thought was, oh, God, they got this picture. Um, but then as the day went on or whatnot, I found out that that's not what they had. Mm -mm. Um, no. So, you know, it was running rampant. Like, lives travel fast. So, so people rather entertain them. Yeah, lot. yeah. Did you did you did they ever find the guy who did the shooting? Uh, as far as I know, no. Okay. As far as I know, um, you know, the only thing that I know is that he was basically somewhere. Um, well, he was you know on that that street, a street that he frequented. And um, was standing back and got caught. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. even for him from what right. I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. I heard the same thing. Yeah. You know, that so. it wasn't even a situation where this was even meant for him. Right. But it ended up being something that, yeah. that kind of happened that way. Mm -hmm. So with our audience watching, um, what is it that you want them to know about Strap or even the situation that, that happened that day? Just, well, as far as the situation, I'll address that first. Um, believe little. Yeah. Believe little. Um, and you never really realize how that goes until you're facing it. Yeah. You know, and it just made me rethink situations with others that passed away. It made me question. Is it real? Is it true? You know, mm -hmm. like What's a it? whole lot of blogs, or so-called blogs, YouTubers, or whatever, trying to get clicks and make a little money. Yeah. Um, just say anything. Yeah. So it just made me really realize. Okay, well, the others that I, the things you saw, probably wasn't the truth. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, because it was so so many lies just crazy Anything lies, to be said know. to try to get a, to yeah. try to get somebody to see it and figure out a way yeah. where they can be a part of it all this stuff is is people you know i never that's one thing i like I say i'll post what me and him had mm -hmm. but you'll never see me speak on something that i don't even really know about or even knew the guy a person that's because you're respectable i have to be and you have integrity but yeah. not even that even so. if you know something it's not our place to say it yeah, what I mean, if you're, like, I had a question um, that someone asked about a, a blog or whatnot, and we were, we were kind of discussing it back and forth, and I told them, you know, news is news, and, you know, the job is the job, but when you're personally being messy, mm -hmm. then that's when I have an issue with it. 
Right. No. Not that I can necessarily do anything about it, but that's when I have an issue with it. Um, and I won't, you know, have anything to do with those type of right. bloggers or whatnot because what's for you is for you. And if you're supposed to be in this business, you don't have to go down to the gutter. Mm-hmm. No. To make profit. They said, what God have for you, nobody <laughs> can take from you. Correct. Yeah, yeah. You know, I want to see these people you got with you. That's what I... Okay. They, y'all come all... All y'all come here. All of y'all. All of y'all. <laughs> Hell, get up. You know, I'm old. Yeah, all of y'all. You know, when you old, you say it like that. You know, it don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you too. Where you at, man? Just stand in the back of them glasses on. You were late coming in. Sorry. <laughs> I just want to say, man, you know, I'm definitely sorry for your loss, man. You know what I'm saying? And I definitely want to say, man, you know, we got to give, we got to do a moment of silence for my boy Strap, man, on Boss Talk 101. It's a lot of love, but we definitely want to show that, hey, man, this guy meant a lot to us. We would not stop pushing his music. We would not stop pushing the people that he loved to standing around this panel. Um, anything that we can do. LD already knows she got me on speed dial. She called me. We talk about anything. She might get on me too. I might get on her. We don't know. We just, that's what friends do. You know what I mean? So man, let's do, have a moment of silence. Man. Man, like I said, you his brother. That, that was your, you was his oldest brother. Anybody else family? I mean, we are family. Of course, I'm talking about, the, you know, the immediate. You was with him that night I mean, when he came. Like, that's my, that's how I like close friend, but his brother, his other brother, they, they, yeah. they yeah, came they, yeah. They all, and, 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 and you know, one thing I can tell y'all, man, you gotta, like I said, my thing is, is I gotta tell you to keep God first. Cause if it wasn't, I'd have crashed out a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? I'm old now. I once was young, but I'm old now, so that means that I made it through. And you guys can do that too. You know what I'm saying? But if not, all I'm saying is put God first, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I know already it's a lot of times stuff like this have you angry. Uh, stuff like this, have, I, the last time we was at the other spot when we dealt with the other situation, temp, temperatures was flaring. People were saying this and saying that. Uh, same way. It came to Boss Talk. You know what I'm saying? Because Boss Talk is about love and bridges and trying to help our people. Y'all are people, man. We love y'all, man. This ain't nothing new for me. My wife, 20 years ago, um, I was teaching at, at, at the shell, at, at the In North, at North Dallas. Dallas. My mm -hmm. boy Solo got shot four times. I was the only one. I went to his wake, and uh, his, his, mom, mom. his mom came and talked to me because he used to have Bible study with me after they be hustling. So this ain't nothing new for me. I've been doing this. I, I take it for real. I, I, now we gonna cut up and have a good time. I ain't gonna play with you. Y'all know ever since we've been here, been laughs. But we gonna always keep God first for sure, man. You guys are dope. Y'all stand up men. And uh, LD, I'm gonna be honest with you, I just wanted them to come up because this just shows the love, how God put these younger people, these young folks in your life, and, and, and these people around you, period. And, and it's an opportunity that where you know already, you know, you have to move by the spirit. That's right. In order to articulate which way to go next. Yes. And whatever happens, God is the one in control and nobody else, to be honest with you. Um, we I hate this trap is gone. You know what I mean? I love like I said, I love his music. I love the way he was. He was a humble, he respectable. You go back and watch the interview, you'll see he 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 showed us the utmost love, man. And, and and you don't get that out of everybody to come on these panels. We done had little niggas he in here. Smiling. Little niggas in here <laughs> texting and acting disrespectful. We we I got I done had it in here, bro. Having a mm -hmm. but you know me, I'm checking that too. But at the end of the day, uh but at the end of the day I'm 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 still trying to influence them by 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 showing them a godly walk in front of them. And like I said, man, love y'all brothers, man. The music, don't don't stop that music, man. I know you next. You, you, yeah, we gonna see first, nigga. 
I'm waiting on you, nigga. I'm, nigga, I'm coming for you. You got another too. Oh, yeah? Boy, y'all, y'all say that, but boy, when you get behind that mic right there, tell him, LD, I'm coming for you, nigga. I'm playing the music. I'm dry. We got to drop 16, all that. It's serious. <laughs> and he going to tell you what he really thinks. Yeah, for sure, man. But at the end of the day, it's in love. I wonder, so what's going to be next, LD? Can you give us a little bit of insight? So, of course, such an unexpected. It's very event. unexpected. Um, he he left us with some things. Yeah. Yeah. So, my plan is to keep his memory alive. Of course, real talk. Because that was. Whew, <laughs> all, all I'm saying is when, when, when know, listen yeah, listen yeah. Eddie, you gotta be strong man you know what I'm saying you gotta be strong for these cats right here man right, you know what yeah. I'm saying I know it hurt I know it hurt at the end of the day like I said from the day everything happened God had me on that phone with you God had me trying to make sure that I was there for you if you need me whatever I can do you know it ain't much you can do but be there for a person when they going through something like this man you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's going to take time. But at the end of the day, God going to make a way. You understand that? God going to make a way. He always does, man. And I know you might not like the way things is right now, but you'll see. God going you he going to figure it out. It's going to be something greater later. I promise you. He never he never failed me yet. I lost my mom and my dad and my best friend, everybody gone. But he never failed me yet. No matter how you look at it. You can look at it. You can look at it any way you want to, but I'm telling you, I'm still here. I'm a living witness. My partner got out the car with me. Next day, he was dead. His uncle cut his throat. I can keep going. Story at this. I found my uncle dead at 13. Different stuff. I can keep going. That's why I'm yeah. telling you, God don't fail you. Yeah. Only time he failed is when you give up. Keep his memory alive through his music and through his yeah. visuals. That's the one thing. When you look at back in the days, we didn't have all the visuals. People. They couldn't afford yeah. having a camera or to videotape because yeah. even like your father, grandfather, whatever, you had pictures. You didn't have videos to hear the person's voice, to see them all the time, like they're still here. Yeah. You have all of that to yeah. keep him alive. Yeah. You know we're, what we're I mean? Definitely going to keep his memory alive. Um, when new projects come out, you'll be here. You'll yeah. definitely be coming yeah. through here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And y'all will be, yeah. we'll be sitting down at this round table. Yeah. And uh, like I said, you guys, you just don't know, man. I know it was a big loss, you know. Yeah. But I, I just know God is big enough for the job, man. And I know sometimes people are like, God, why? Listen, man, I understand you don't understand why it happened and yeah. why he let it happen, you know, or he did it and all that. But let me tell you something, man. God's still God. Y'all still here. I don't even ask why because you're not going to get that answer. You got younger people that's watching y'all. Strap yeah. had young kids watching him. Yeah. Nah, for it, I know. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, he. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we. Yeah, he was dead, too. That didn't even touch about that, man. Yeah. 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 He was, I mean, his talent just superseded him. He he left us with great music. Um, I know a lot of his fans, he touched a lot of his fans. Had a lot of fans in my DM, um, and you know, just reaching out to me on the business line. Yeah. Um, you know, so he was really loved, and that love just overshadowed any hate. Any hate. Any hate. All the hate. Listen, man, <laughs> there's a lot of it out here. You know, some things. When, I remember hate. when we was here, and you was like, hey, man, watch that right here. Watch that. You were so protective over my love. <laughs> you was very protective over what was going on with Strap. And, mm-hmm. hey, man, BFG, he, it was like, she was, she was telling me, don't do not do this. We can't yeah. do that. We don't see. That's shit. when you yeah. That's when you know somebody yeah. really looking yeah. out. Yeah. She ain't just yeah. coming there like a lot of these managers. You got to realize how many managers come in this thing. Mm. She came in here saying, don't do that. We don't want that. We don't want this. <laughs> that's like Mama Bear. She yes. was not trying to hear it, guys, and that's why she's here today because I respect that so much. You know what I'm saying? That that she really care about y'all, that she really care about what's going on. 
And she ain't gonna she ain't gonna fold. She gonna be there with you. And that's what I love about LD. That's why we did this because we know already this is what Strap would want. Yeah. You know, Strap was one of them guys, man, that just man, like I said, be able to, he was just a good guy, man. And I know that in order for us to keep his legacy alive, we gotta stand in the, in front of these mics. You said something early on. We was talking it was like you gotta think about it, man. And you were saying something. It, if we don't do this, then the lie going to excel all of this. Mm -hmm. If we don't stand up and say something, then people don't have nothing but to lie. Right. So I had to put this together so we can say something. That's what this whole panel was about. Because if we don't say something, nigga gonna, man, nigga be out there telling all, you've seen all them lies came out. <laughs> These niggas be talking, my dude. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, but y'all, I want y'all to, hey, I want y'all to focus on the music. Be that voice. You understand what I'm saying? That's what he. That's what he would want. Be that voice. Put it on sounds. Let let it be known, man. That's why you got to go with it. And then also, don't deny the fact that you hurt. That that you have to heal. You have to keep that in the forefront because sometimes we cover it up. That's what men do for sure. We don't talk about nothing. We ain't for the cry with you, nigga. We don't even nigga. Nigga, I'm hard, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm telling you, man, give yourself some healing time and and, and, and understand that what you're going through is, is tough because you'll find yourself doing things out of order if you don't give yourself that time to heal. If I don't say nothing else, I got to say that. You know what I'm saying? And keep on, keep on smiling, keep on hustling, man. Keep on handling your business, man. Nigga got the necklace on, making mine look bad, but it's cool though. You niggas running around, with, yeah. You niggas, yeah. You niggas got these necklaces on, nigga. Yeah, smelling good, smelling like uh, uh, issue me. I get bun number nine, and vintage Creed, nigga. <laughs> oh, okay. man, we love y'all, man. I Say, really man, if there's anything, it, did I forget anything, guys? Y'all y'all got anything y'all want to say? This mic wide open. Yeah, nigga, back up. Y'all nervous. Like I, knew I, it, I knew it. I knew it. I knew you, I nigga, say. were nervous. I was going to say something, too. Come on. What you want to say, okay? We love strapping. You know, that we doing it. We doing this for the strap, ultimately. And we ain't never let his name die. That's real. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, yeah, man, yeah. the biggest flag flying. Y'all know how it's going, man. Already. So, I busy want... world, for real. Like, we're going to keep this thing going. We're going to keep them flags in the sky, for real. Man, that boy must know that mic on, nigga. I hear you man, good. I want to <laughs> I wanna say, man. Like y'all said, bro, all the lies, y'all can keep it to yourself. All the fake bloggers, like the bloggers that want to post them now and want to hop on the wave. Man, cloud chasing. Cloud, cloud chasing, chasing. trolling some like money, you know what I'm saying? Because I seen one in particular, but I ain't going to say his name. But he was really cloud chasing and doing that. On, he was really slandering in my brother's name for a whole two hours. And I ain't Hold like down that. a little bit. Like For two hours? Two, well, two hours, hours long. Two hours long. Like, <laughs> He was slandering my brother's name, and I ain't like that, but, you know what I'm saying, like, don't do that, don't do that, like, you know what I'm saying, my boy was 4'8", four, four heart of a line, like, yeah. standing seven foot, yeah. like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think he was 4'8", when you hear him. Like, <laughs> I see him. Man, say, like. That's all I got to say. Man, man, man we're going to keep that. I want you to right keep now. that music coming. Like, yeah. I want you to keep that legacy alive. How, how, okay, the mother, how's, the, how's mom? Is she? She's, she's, she's doing she's, what she do. You're taking it day she's by up day, and down day by day. Yeah. Day. You gotta mm -hmm. day One day at a time. Yeah, we just love her. Mm -hmm. I'll see her a little later. Already, man. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all for coming on the show, man. I hope I did y'all justice, no, man. Yeah, yeah. You know already yeah, how I do. I don't change. I don't stop. I'm, we gonna keep pushing. Yeah. yeah. For for strap. Yeah, BFG yeah. strap. We gotta keep pushing. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anytime y'all need me, nigga, I gave y'all my na my card, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna see, nigga. Hey, he quiet, nigga. You know I'm on that nigga neck, nigga. Yeah. I've been on him ever since. <laughs> Anybody can get it in there. <laughs> remember that face, like you said. I remember. Like, I remember, remember, remember them. Face. Remember this man right here, though. Remember that face, that name, everything. Okay, he coming. He hard. He hard. Yeah, he hard. Yeah. Hey, next producer. Everybody already know him. Hey. Yeah, yeah, that nigga. 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 Yeah, that nigga.
Already, man. Already, man. Yeah, man. Check it, right man. Right. Hey, man. It's been another great segment, man. RP man, Stroud man, BFG, we love him, brother. Man, Strizzy world for life, man. Boss Talk 101. And we out.